cinnamon. So pretty. So. <laughs>
but definitely go to Fenty's website and you might still be able to get it on Sephora. I'm pretty sure you can still find it on Sephora. So now a tried and true favorite blush. This blush I've had forever. I love it. it it's one of those blushes that no matter my makeup look, I know if I just grab that, it's going to look great with no matter what I'm wearing, what eyeshadow I'm wearing. It's it's going to work. It's it's such a neutral blush that it's it's your everyday blush. Like you don't have to think about it when you use this blush. And this is MAC Melba. And it is kind of a peachy neutral. It's coming off really light in my lighting right now. I don't know, it's kind of, if I put it a little darker, I wish, uh, everything is coming off really light in my lighting. I wonder if I should close my curtain. Let me, I'm going to try that. See, now I feel like it, I definitely am, things are darker. I don't know if that really helps. Yeah, it kind of helps. It shows a little bit more truer. Hopefully the lighting isn't too bad now. Um, Mac Melba is one of those that I love. It's, I, it's the no fuss blush. So I love that one. I, I'll always rebuy it. They better never ever get rid of it because I will need it again one day. And if it's not there, I'll be so sad. So another blush I really love is the Hourglass Ambient. All their, all their, I hate how Hourglass names their products because everything's ambient, ambient lighting. And it can sometimes get so confusing if you're buying a blush or highlight or a face powder how they name their products is kind of like, ugh, makes me cringe a little bit, but it's called Ambient Lighting Blush in Sublime Flush, but I love their packaging. And when I look closely here, you can see there's a little bit of a coral and some pink all swirled in there. And it's one of those, it's right here, one of those really just easy, pink, beautiful, corally blushes. Pretty, it, I feel like it's very doll-like as well. I don't know, I think when we put on blush, we kind of want to look a little doll-like, don't we? It's kind of weird, but it's true. But that's one of my favorite blushes that I grab a lot. I love the formula. It's so, the formula is just so finely milled. Like, it's just soft and... It just blends beautifully on the sky. I don't know. I'm swatching it again for whatever reason. But, ugh. So pretty. And it's like a satin blush, too. This one's kind of a firecracker in a blush. And this is the NYX uh, Cinnamon. And it actually is showing up really true on camera, which is really cool. It's, a, it's like a red blush. It's a corally red blush. So the name is Cinnamon, and like I said, it's like a firecracker on your cheeks. This is, I love this for fall and summer, because it looks great. Now you do have to apply this really softly and not too much, but as you can see, like, it's not too crazy pigmented that, you know, you wouldn't be able to control it with a soft blush brush, but if you wanted to really have a pow type look you can I mean it can definitely layer but oh it is so pretty when you just want to look I don't know I feel like really rosy cheeks are so youthful because when you think of like being youthful what what do young people usually have flushed cheeks that's young it's what young skin looks like so Use blush to your advantage to kind of bring a little more youth to your skin. If you're starting to be a little more mature and you want to look a little more youthful, try some blush because it really, it really can help. So one of the last products I want to talk about is I felt like I needed to mention these because I have probably, let's see, I have a stack of five of them here right now. And I think I have another stack of five of these in my blush drawer. Yeah, there's like five of them over there too. But I just, I grabbed literally a bundle of them. And these are the Tarte Amazonian Clay Blushes. Now these have been like ride or die type blushes since the dawn of like makeup, YouTube, you know, for at least the last 10 years. These, these blushes have dominated the blush scene for a very long time and 
they're so great. I mean, I, they are definitely used up. This is a baby doll kind of pink. Um, this one is blushing. And this is more on the shimmery side of a pink. I have Captivating, which is more of a coral. This is really close to Melba, but it's not the same. Nothing's really like Melba, but this one. Now this one looks like it could be a face powder, but I assure you there's just this little subtle touch of pink in it. And this one would only work for someone with like my skin tone or lighter because it is, it is kind of like a ghost. I don't know if that, I'll be able to show that. Nope. Okay. Let me see. All my fingers are like really pink and I don't want it to like ruin the swatch, but I'll try. All right. I'm going to try to go right here. It is probably the most almost non-existent blush, but man, is it so, um, barely there. Like on your barely there makeup days, this blush will be great. You know, it's kind of like when you want, when you're wearing makeup, but you don't want to actually look like you're wearing a lot of makeup, this blush is great. And it's called Celebrated and I love it. It's just barely there. What else I like about these Tarte Amazonian clay blushes is obviously look at the packaging. When this is, especially when you have as, as many as I do, it's, you know, sometimes you don't always recognize the names. You're like, oh, well, I want to look at Glisten. Where's Glisten? And you sit there and try to find the last name, especially if they're all like, say, like a black compact or a white compact. You don't know which one you're trying to grab. But what's nice about these is they are shade, you know, they're basically, they correspond with the shade. And this is what's great. So you can look at these and you're like, you know what? I'm looking for a warm tone coral. All right, let me grab this one. And it happens to be called Glisten. That's what's really nice about these. I, I wish I wish more brands would do that. <laughs> Especially when it comes to blushes, is to, to color coordinate with the packaging. Because it's, it's just so, especially nowadays, there's so many makeup lovers that actually kind of almost collect makeup and they have so much and they want to be able to use everything they have and it wants to be easy to find and quick when you're doing your makeup and that's what's nice about these like Tarte did it right when it came to those and oh you know what I skipped I skipped one of my favorite blushes ever last blush I thought the Tarte one was going to be one of my last ones to talk about but really I want to talk about these melt cream blushes now these all the rest have been powders but this is a cream, baby. I love, I got these, uh, what is it? This, this last winter, I think I got these or early spring. I haven't had them too long. I'm not quite sure on like, I got a little brush hair in there. It's going to look gross, but this one is honey thief. And then I got Cali dream, which is kind of like an orangey. So you can kind of compare. But these cream blushes are, uh, I've never liked cream blushes. Th these blushes are the first cream blushes that I've tried where I actually really enjoy the formula. They're easy to blend. I'm actually wearing, I think Honey Thief, yeah. Wearing Honey Thief today, which was that more kind of corally, corally pink shade. And it's really soft, but my lighting's kind of drowning it out. But I'm wearing it today. And I love them because they're just so easy to blend. And cream is obviously is going to be more hydrating than like say a powder. So um, cream blushes have kind of really had a spike this last year. Cream products were really popular this last year, and you're starting to see tons of them on the market. So um, Melt took advantage of that and made these cream blushes, and they have tons of other shades. But these were the two shades that I felt like I would actually use. Um, there's some other shades that I just didn't really feel like I needed in my collection. And I'm hoping that they'll expand and have, like if they made a lavender cream blush, I think I would just, oh, I would love that. More brands need to make lavender based brushes because it's crazy how pretty it can be. I can understand anything with like a purpley base might kind of be scary because it, if you do it wrong, it might come off bruisey, and no one wants to look like they have a bruise on their face. So I can understand how hard that is, but a true lavender is actually so pretty. I want more brands to come out with a little bit more 
lavender. Let, like, let's not be afraid of it. So basically that, these are all my favorite blushes. These are the blushes that I probably grab the most in my collection. Um, these are the most used, these guys here. These are the ones that are getting the most play. Um, I do obviously use other blushes, um, but these are the ones that I probably gravitate to the most, either because of their shade or just because of how well they perform. So, ooh, I did, I, did, I was hesitant to even mention this because you can't get this palette anymore, but if I was being completely honest with myself, I use this a lot when it comes to blush, and I, I've used it in one of my, I think it was like my first video I, I, I put up recently, um, but it was this, it was by Kat Von D, which is now a KVD Beauty, but it was, this is the Fetish palette, and I like it because there's a pink, an orangey coral, and look at that, a lavender. So, um, and then it has the corresponding, like, shimmery highlight, blush light kind of cheeks that, you know, matches. And they look so beautiful together. This truly is one of my favorite blush products as well. This is something I use a lot. But I almost didn't want to mention it because if someone wanted to try it, it would be really hard to find. You could probably find this on some makeup resale sites. You know, like an eBay, you might be able to find it. People are selling some of their older Kat Von D type me, um, beauty products so if this is something that you think you would really like um, the quality is just so through the roof so this is kind of like an honorable mention because as far as I I believe every single one of these products I mentioned before this is all still available the only one that might start to be into question is this Fenty Beauty the kilowatt one but I want to say, like, just a few weeks ago, I saw it on Sephora's website, so I think it's still there, but I think, and it might even be on sale right now for, like, a sec, because I think it's being, like, phased out. I, maybe Rihanna's going to be coming out with some new blushes, but this one, if you can find it, get it. So, I was just trying to stay true to actual my favorite blushes, and that one's one of my favorite, and even though this palette you probably can't get anymore. If you are um, a little shopper that likes to shop on, say, like, maybe, like, Poshmark or on eBay, uh, what's there other, like, I think there was one called, like, Glam Bot or something like that. There's there's some makeup resale for the makeup lovers out there that don't mind buying either gently used makeup products or even some that just might have hoarded. You know what? Check, like, TJ Maxx and Marshalls and like Ross. Sometimes I'm noticing Ross is starting to carry like some really older like Too Faced and I've seen some like Smashbox and even Lime Crime. So they're starting to get some ads, but Marshalls. I would check Marshalls. You might be able to find like a product like this there because there's definitely Kat Von D products at like Marshalls. I know I've seen tons of Kat Von D products at my local Marshalls. So that would actually, yeah, that's a good idea to kind of check for like random products like this that you can probably still find. Okay. So hopefully that was somewhat informative for blushes. I know blush isn't the most exciting topic for most people to talk about. Um, you could really only, you know, have, there's only so many shades of pink and coral and lavender. So, um, but I thought it would just be fun to kind of throw a video together here real quick of my favorite blushes. Let me know down below any more, you know, video ideas. I'm kind of like, don't even know what to do and what to put out. I'm just like getting started and already like, I don't know what to talk about. I don't know what people actually want to know and what they want to see. If it's tutorials, if it's my favorite products, um, reviews, what. So if you have any ideas of stuff you want to see from me, Particularly in my opinion of things, I would love to know and would definitely take it into consideration for the next video idea. Alright guys, well thanks for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed the video and don't forget to like and maybe comment if you have any comments for me. And stay tuned for the next video. Alright guys, bye!